And I state that without arrogance. I don't mean to be arrogant, but I am a realist. And as a realist, it would be absolutely unprofessional for me to sit here and pretend I'm not an exceptional human being. Because I am. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I was going back and I was watching, rewatching some of that zone card last night, and I decided to go back and rewatch Amanda Serrano versus Erica Cruz because, quite frankly, last night when I watched it, um, I just got back home from the NHL All Star Game. I was very tired. I was I, I joined my dad, my dad in the middle of the live, and I kind of just wanted the fight to be over with. I, I, you know, I was a little frustrated. I just wanted the fight, the fight to, be, to be over with so I could go to sleep. So I watched it today. Now that I have more energy and my my, my mind is more sound, and man, I gotta say, man, not only were the judges car were, were the judges scorecards absolutely awful, but I don't, I, I don't want to use the word robbery, but I don't think there's enough people saying that Erica Cruz won this fight. Because truthfully, I, I think she had a legitimate um, case to win this fight. Now, in going back and rescoring the fight, I, the, the, the scorecard I got to was 95-95. I actually scored it a draw. But one caveat to my scorecard is that uh, in the sixth round when Serrano hurt, uh, Erica Cruz, uh, I thought it was such a one-sided round that I actually wound up scoring that round, a 10-8 round for Amanda Serrano. So if I just give Serrano that round but not not let it be a 10-8, then on my scorecard, Erica Cruz wins the fight. So I really do think she, she had a case to win this fight. I didn't watch the fight with the commentary on. I had the sound off because, you know, you know with the fight being signed and, and them already having this big elaborate... Uh, Taylor versus Serrano two commercial that they were gonna that the commentators they, they had a job to do and they were gonna you know be biased towards Serrano but I watched the fight with the sound off and what I saw was I saw Serrano particularly early in the fight very uncomfortable up until the head clash like the head clash and the cut that opened up on Erica Cruz's uh, forehead that's what actually gave Serrano her footing in the fight because before that really and truthfully. Um, Erica Cruz has that weird awkward style out that softball stance, and she's winging those overhand rights and those sweeping right hooks. And you know the problem of the problem with boxing sometimes. I think people have their own ideas of how boxing should look. You know, you know everything should be fundamentally sound, but not everybody's fundamentally fundamentally sound. You know, the great Evander Holyfield told me a long time ago, many years ago, you got to fight the fight that works for you. And Erica Cruz has a style which is very awkward. But extremely effective, equally effective. I mean, she's coming out that southpaw stance. She's throwing punches with her head down, and she's winging them up here, and then she's coming down here, and she's winging them to the body, and they land, and they land. And what I noticed uh, last night when I was like half asleep watching the fight is that a lot of her good work was being ignored by the zone commentary, and I think that's very, very shameful and pathetic to be honest with you because um, I think. You know, we, we, there's, there's always a lot of talk in boxing about Mexican fighters and Mexican hard and who fights like a Mexican and who represents Mexicans well. Erica Cruz, to me, I can't really think of any example, any, like any example in recent years where a Mexican fighter has given an account of himself that would be so honorary to the Mexican people. She She, she did everything that was... I believe representative of a Mexican fighter, which is to fight your heart out until you can't fight no more. She 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 gave so much of herself in the fight that she could barely get up off her stool. And it's, you know, I'm not I'm, I wasn't giving her rounds for more victory, but I, I was literally just had the sound off. I was looking at the punches landing, and, and and the thing is, maybe Serrano did a better job as the fight went along at at sharpshooting and 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 finding a, a space for the punches, but ultimately. Uh, I thought it was Cruz that out hustled her, outworked her, and, and, and really outlanded her. I don't care what the county box says. I mean, the county box is is bullshit for the most part. Um, sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it isn't. But like, there's no way on God's green earth that Serrano landed more punches than her. No way. There's, there's no way. I'm sitting there watching the fight with the sound off, and freaking Erica Cruz throws eight punches and like four of them land, and then Serrano will throw three and two of them land. And it's like no. That's how it went most of the fight. So, uh, truthfully speaking, I, I think Erica Cruz did enough to get the nod. And, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of I feel for her because 
she's definitely proven herself as one of the best fighters in women's boxing. I mean, she has two wins over a top fighter in Jelena Madrenovic. Now she fights Serrano on her home turf, and, and obviously she wasn't going to get the benefit of the doubt there, especially not under these circumstances. But I wanted, to, I wanted to take this video to acknowledge her amazing efforts and acknowledge not a good performance, but a great performance, uh, an exemplary performance of what it means to be a Mexican fighter in boxing. Um, I'm not Mexican, so maybe I shouldn't be saying what it means and what it doesn't mean. But what, what I'm saying is the things Mexican fighters are normally known for, she displayed those things at like the best level possible. And I just think that uh, there's not enough people in boxing the, the, the day after, I think, giving her just due and her flowers. So, uh, you know, uh, I'll, be, I'll be one of the few to do it. But uh, yeah, Erica Cruz, I would like to see her get a revenge, her rematch at some point, because truthfully speaking, Amanda Serrano didn't separate herself. So... I want to see Erica Cruz fight the winner of Taylor Serrano. I know that's probably not going to happen. Um, you know, they're probably going to land the winner of that for Bumgarner. But, you know, why not? Why not let Cruz get a crack at Bumgarner? You know, we saw last night Alicia Bumgarner's defense got real leaky. And she started getting hit a lot in the, in the back half of that fight. I think a fight with her in, 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 a, in a really interesting style that Erica Cruz presented, presented the table in the intermediate time while we wait for the Serrano-Taylor winner, that'd be like... Amazing, but I mean, I, I shouldn't expect that from boxing. Boxing is a business. So they're probably going to, you know, Alicia probably sit on the shelf until those two sort, they got to sort out and then just fight the winner uh, later on in the year. But uh, yeah, I thought Erica Cruz did enough to win. I scored it a draw. Uh, l l let me know what you guys think. Is there anybody out there that agrees with me that thinks that maybe Erica Cruz might have won this fight? And is there anybody out there that had it a draw or, or just what did you score it? If you've watched it back, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you watched it last night, let me know what your scorecard was. Uh, we're here to, I, I do read all the comments, so leave them down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.